it's basically a GTA clone with like hacking mechanics. Well, you know Ooh. what? Now, Andrew, Ooh. Andrew, Ooh. Um, I usually play as you know who and we get you know what, and then we have to do the unspeakable for like two Ooh. hours. So if I don't pick you know who, we won't get you know what, and then we don't have to do a turtle. Okay. Right. So I think based on that association, I'm going to make Wraith Invaders. I am going to make. Where are they? Where are they? Where are they? Where are they? <laughs> oh, that was close. Hold oh, my boots. Wait. No, almost, there's uh, no brim. There's no brim yet. Oh, well. Are we playing this? I, I've kind of forgotten our rule. Uh, have you have you already gone? No, I'm still here. Oh, well, you're still here. Oh, well, well, we're playing it out. We're doing it. This is the first now, time you're going to see a Rift gameplay in the channel in a year. And probably the last as well. <laughs> if we lose this, I, I will never play on this map again. Because I've played a... I've played a, 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 a maybe I should consider Chinese because English isn't working for me. Um, what was I saying? I don't know. I've forgotten. What am I, what's my name, Andrew? Can you remind me? Oh, shite in a bucket, sir. Um, eh. This this map is way better on threes, I think, because mm. I this this becomes a choke point, and then <laughs> this is kind of just wide open constantly. Right. right. Yeah, I uh, I just I really don't like this map. I feel like you you lose no matter which way to Plymouth you're looking at it. You know. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, I, yeah, you know, Connor's I was going to be raging at me because I didn't go for the power straight away. Oh, Jonathan. He's a right little girl when I don't go for the power. He's like, he always goes flaring here. I, I, I don't see any units here, so I know immediately that this is Ed. I'm like, okay, sure. <laughs> you know, it's, don't you find the, um, similarities, if you will, between Sean and Pyman ironic? Right, like you've essentially the, the, found the yourself. Similarities are staggering, I would say. You found Some yourself another Pyman, is what you've done. He's not as good as Pyman. Pa no. Pyman was like an 80% win rate, like <laughs> no life, you know. <laughs> and uh, Sean is not not on that level in any way, shape way to Plymouth. Any way, yeah. shape, or form. Yes. <laughs> and whatever form that comes in, right. like he'll never attain the, the levels of Pyman. Right. Yeah, you know, it, it was funny because I remember when, because uh, you, for the audience, this is like ancient history with our two channels. Oh, yeah. Pyman yeah. was a pro player, and um, Ed kind of, like, you know, he helped us with our tournaments and stuff, and then uh, Ed, you just, like, stop, you decide you don't want to play Halo Wars for, like, a year. And so yeah. the channel was me and Pyman for a year, and... Yeah. It was so funny because, like, I was still horrible. I still am, but I was, like, really horrible. You know what I mean? Yeah. And we would play ranked against champs, and Pyman would be like, yeah, this is no problem. And he would just demolish them both while I'm, like, you know, doing whatever. There was a moment. There was a moment in time where me and Pyman rage played Halo Wars 2, and that was before I started recording for this channel. And I'm not kidding. We'd win every single game repeatedly, and then that's that's how I actually got into Onyx. Right. Onyx. Onyx. Onyx, however you say it. Yeah, I'm Onyx and twos because of Pyman. And I, you know, because yeah. it's so funny because that was like four years ago and they haven't updated mm. the seasons in four years, right? So it's pathetic, ain't it? <laughs> I'm, uh, so I'm still, it's hilarious. My max rank will say it's Onyx and that's because of Pyman. And oh, I haven't yeah. spoken to the guy in years. But anyway. L literally, literally. Yeah, literally. Pyman's uh, MIA. Yeah, he vanished. Um, He's German. I think is the is the uh, the correct verbiage you're looking for. You know, I I I I've wondered like I bet you the guy would be half good at age, and I love to I, well, play age with him. I've actually, actually, I've actually spoke to Pyman about age very very briefly, and he, apparently he doesn't like age. Oh which really? Is unfortunate. He's mm. kind of like me in that regard. I think there's too much going on in age. Mm. Did you quick tech? Uh no, I did not. What was I supposed? Is this to? is this the build that you're doing right here? I'm not doing the build. You can get the hell out of here. Speaking uh, of Pyman, are you doing the build? The build. That's where it came from. Yeah, the build. Yeah, and, and Pyman got me to champ in two. So my max rank in twos is champ, which is absolutely cheddarful. Oh, yeah. No no messing about. <laughs> that cracks me up. He got me to champ. <laughs> it carried you into champ. He couldn't quite make it with me for some reason. We played We played enough to get into champ, I would say. But you know what? Just never never quite got there. And I got like oh. way up there. Beep. <laughs> <laughs> it was so hysterical because you got me to like champ like 171 or something crazy 
That was pretty high. <laughs> like, like top 200 in the world, and it's me. Is that? Do you think? <laughs> can you imagine? Do you think that's? Do you think that's a showcase of Paimon's skill, or do you think that's just evidence that the Halo Wars 2 scene is so shite at the game that you can get to like, you know, top 200? I think it's a little bit of both. A little. Bit. I think it's a, a little, little bit, bit of both. <laughs> Now that's me brimmed. Take me to plim. <laughs> I've, speaking of the Halo Wars 2 scene being shite in a bucket of the game, these these two gentlemen have oh. not done anything. I I played... The, I see a man, an herbiter. I just went through mines. Oh, damn you. Don't carry on going through mines, morons. No, well, there's more mines there. Don't go through them. Keep going, because go there's... Oh. There we go. Well, there's, the uh, there's nothing but Thanks. men near me, by the way. Oh. Oh, that's a lot of men. Uh, 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 almost flame. I'm going to make them come to his mini-men. Okay. If he comes to this mini-men, I'll be able mm. to uh, mm. annihilate him and all of his characters with some mind stones. Oh, oh, suicide runs. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, he went for the wrong unit. Going to my hero. He went going to my hero. There you go. Well, that's going to go in the cringe compilation at the end of the year. Oh, yeah. It wasn't as brimful as I wanted it to be. Um, I'm gonna go <laughs> the dons. Little unnecessary, but also totally necessary. Totally necessary. Get your hair on the cover. 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 Umpy umpy, get in the cubby. Oh, you're gonna get his hero. <laughs> uh, oh, the, the, the hydras followed him. That's what he gets. <laughs> Get out at garrison. I, t I popped your guy out of the garrison by accident. Oh, that's fine. I'm making me, um, as uh, Pyman used to call them, Uber Blacks. Uber Blacks, that's right. Or maybe they're the Uber XLs, I forget. There might be the XLs. We'll have to, uh, we'll have to consult Pyman for that one. You know what? Shout out to Pyman in this video. Shout out, shout out to the old man. Yeah, that's right. Mm -hmm. Shout out to Miniman. You can put a shout gen on the, my mini. Shout out to the character. The character. All the char all the benign characters as well. I saw a comment. You ever get comments where you don't know if they're uh, compliments or insults? I know what you mean. Yeah, I certainly <laughs> get one that... Well, a lot from Sean, actually. A right. lot can, you know, go either <laughs> way, I would say. Uh, a man commented, and I'm going to take uh, what he said, not verbatim, because I forgot what exactly he said, but... Something along the lines of that he's been friends with, uh, you know, a few British people, and he's American for like ten years, and he said they don't, n none of them speak like the way that you and I speak, you know. So I mean, is that an insult? I, you know, that, that that's the whole point. Right. I actually, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. We're we're estranged in that regard. Very strange. <laughs> strange in the fact that we're estranged. Right. And, you know, it could even be strange with a sprinkling of siege as well. Oh, I mean, if there's a sprinkle, a sprinkling of siege to be had, I'll be there for it, my mm. guy. Mm. Yeah, as to. These guys are poo, by the way. <laughs> yeah, they're just letting me sit here and make my uh, Uber XLs, which I'm about to attack Einstein with. I mean, look, he's literally just sending... Oh, my God, he went cringe air, and I've got, I've got CTs already. <laughs> he went cringe air. <laughs> I love that, uh, descript, 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 excuse me, descript. Oh, no, 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 no. I can't Jeremiah. say that. I give up. Forget it. Come on. All right, I'm pushing. I'm pushing, I'm pushing, I'm pushing, I'm pushing. I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. Come on, go the mines. Oh, there's dead corpses. My mines, my mines went quack-a-ding-dong. <coughs> mine, mine brother. Mine brother. I'm going to have so many men on my, uh, Uber Blacks. I'm pushing. Oh, they killed my Don Donnington. Oh. They killed my Donny J. Your Donny J. Hmm. Oh, look at this trash. I apologize if the man's watching. I don't. <laughs> oh, I keep. I keep. Uh, Hang on. Let me let him know. Incorrect orientations. How can I assist? Well, this is so cringe that I, uh, I'm not even sure if it's uploadable. <laughs> Did you see what I said to him? 
<laughs> not building on your base. Cringe compilation. I mean, if there has been a cringe compilation game, this is it, right? Right, here. right. Yeah, you know, the, I think despite us saying that everyone plays like Pooh in Halo Wars, I have found less and less cringe compilation clips. And I don't know if that's me not finding them and clipping them out when I edit, or... I think you're just playing that. You're not playing it enough, you mm. know, to find the true cringe. You know, that's probably a good a good point as to... Because th these men are letting me put my men in the, uh, in the, in the men... Oh, shite. Shite and oh, things. buckets. <laughs> shite. Let me, uh, I'll, I'll go and eliminate red then, shall I? Yeah. I mean, this man is, uh... He's cucumbered all the way to Plymouth. It's always cheddarful when you make uh, Mastodons and Uber Blacks. Mm. Uh, oh. So, a uh, Mastodons Uber XLs then? I would imagine. Yeah, I would imagine that to be the case. I love that the Wraith Invader themselves have siphons. Wraith Invader firing! If this is a crack, we'll probably will. You see, I tried to do a mind stun on the man. It didn't play out in Stein the way you wanted to in Stein. Let's get going. You know, do you find it, and I hate to sound mean, do you find it interesting that there's still people this bad at the game six years after release? Uh, you know, a lot of people criticize our skill level. Right. But we ain't this bad. You know, I mean, I played badly this game. I'm sure Sean will uh, attest to that. But these, these men played worse. Right. You know? And it's not about playing well, it's about playing better, you know? Yeah, I mean, I don't understand. It kind of goes in a different conversation as well. I don't understand where people think that they're like, oh, Team Respawn's bad, lol, and so is Ed and, you know, all these other people. It's like, well, yeah, we are. What, what do you want we, from We us? never said we were good. Right. We, we never made the claim. I mean, I might have said I was a wavy don once or twice, but, you know. A wavy don. That's, that's neither here nor there. Right. It's uh, it's actually in Plymouth is where it is. Yeah. Well, up. I see a little bit of outlaw up gen on a mini. Oh, my God. Bloody hell. Well, I, I had marines and snipers in my uh, in my dons, and it was incredibly good. Well, there we go. <laughs> We sent these men messages, and this is what happened. Oh my god, jet on a mini. <laughs> I love that. Beep. Oh, sh oh. I need to stop saying that. Indeed. Yeah, it makes it easier for the editing process, as well as... Uh... I I'm not... You see, I'm not sure if... Beep. It is particularly that bad, but I know it's not good, if you know what I mean. Right. It's not bad, but it's not good. Oh. And I'm all about that crossroads of not bad and not good. Well, I take it out nonetheless. Once again, the might of the I, I think we need to do that that matchup again because, you, no, you see, that would have been interesting because he could have built um, Phantoms and he could have built Uber Blacks as well and then they just didn't either. Phantom prepared. Phantom reporting for duty. Oh, look at you with all those stars. <laughs> that was that was indeed cheddarful. I think I'm brimmed after that one. Well, let's... Um, Let's do another round of Jeremiah and Pavium, shall we? Uh, buy a shirt. Okay. Link to that's in the description. And uh, check out the playlist. Uh, here's, I, I find this kind of inexplicable. And there's so many examples of it. Maybe this isn't a good example. But open world games were so good on the 360. Crackdown 1 and 2, GTA 4, even GTA 5 to a certain extent. How come people make really good open worlds on old hardware and then when it comes to like sequels like crackdown 3 or cyberpunk or whatever other open world game has come out recently and has been shitty mm. how how can they not get it together how is crackdown 3 worse than the first two games how is cyberpunk <laughs> worse than a game like gta 4 for example yeah I, I mean i know they're not apples to apples to com to compare but it's like there's so many worse games nowadays even considering there's better hardware what's 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 with that yeah, it's sad that Crackdown is the worst of the three, and Crackdown 1 is the best of the three, you know? I mean, they got worse as, as they came out. Crackdown 1 was, I think, one of the best games on the 360. Crackdown 2 yep. was kind of all right, but it was more like a DLC, and then Crackdown 3 is just utterly garbo. Yeah, I would in every agree. which way. You know, I, I actually played a good bit of Crackdown 3. I did a co-op play of it with Thomas. This is before... Oh, yeah. Good. 
Thomas flew over to PlayStation Land, and uh, you know we were kind of grinding Chivos at the time. Yeah, uh, yeah. But um, yeah, you know, Crackdown, Crackdown Three was was fun. It's just yeah, you're right. It, it felt it was just weird. It was just. Weird. I think the problem with it is it stuck a load of stuff in the world that was kind of entertaining. Like there was a lot of stuff to do in the open world, but it wasn't. It didn't have as much. Oh my god. Uh -oh. I'm getting their uh, carbonated beverages. Oh um, no. Kickback. Um, it just wasn't as like characterful and uh, mm. atmospheric as the first. Even in the second one as well. The, the the second game had its style, didn't it, and its character. But Crackdown Three is just sort of generic and boring. It's just sort of neon clad city, and right. that's kind of it, really. There's no there's no environmental storytelling like there is in the first game. Well, that's what I loved about Crackdown One was like the city was overrun by gangs, and like you were working. You could either slowly, you know, take out the lieutenants and work your way up the the chain of command to take out the kingpins, or the game yeah. would actually let you go straight for the kingpin if you thought you could take them out. Do you know that? that I think that's quite a cool concept because it's a true open world. Although it's a really simple open world, it's literally just go here, kill him, and that's the entire game, effectively. Well, I um, think the orbs completely changed Crackdown. You know, like I think Crackdown. Mm. If we didn't have the collectible orbs, the mystery orbs, and the uh, athletic orbs, the, yeah. uh, the game would would have been complete shy to no one would have cared about it. Mm. Is my opinion. Because that's I think that's something Crackdown Three does potentially better than Crackdown One. The open world has more stuff to do in it and see. Mm. But like I said, you're still repeating the same tasks over and over and over again. Yeah. It's, it's got like open world itis, as I call it. Yeah. Because. It's like, what do you do with an open world that large? I, I quite like the verticality of Crackdown 3, but other than that, I'd, I just got so bored of it pretty quickly. You know, it leaves an interesting point, which is like, are there really any, like, banger open world games from the Xbox One PS4 generation? I mean, I guess you could say Witcher 3, but that's not even a true open world, because there's sections yeah. to it. Yeah, yeah. I mean... I, I mean, you're, you're going to hate this answer, but I would say probably the best is Assassin's Creed Origins. I mean, you know, like, I, I've said this many times. I've still not played any of the RPG games, but I think that rings true because all of the examples I've thought of, like I think the Far Cry games, and I think Far Cry 3, Far Cry 4, they're quite good games, but they were all 360 generation. Yeah, so we and had... I think, I think that's definitely true. We had 5 and 6. 6 is on both PS4 and PS5. Have you, have you played six yet? I played five. I've not touched six. No, I, I I got six. Like you know, it's another one. I have it in the shrink wrap. Never opened it. It's just sat there. <laughs> You've had it since day one. <laughs> no, no, I got it for Christmas. It was like oh, it was like fifteen God, bucks nice. for uh, yeah. Black Friday. So I was like, why not? Um, it's, it's been on sale quite a few times. I've just never gotten around to actually buying it for some reason. And Far Cry Five got a sixty FPS patch. You know, I gotta give I saw that. Yeah. I gotta give Ubisoft some credit because they. They're taking a lot of their back catalog and giving them 60 FPS updates for the new consoles. Like, shout out to them going back and patching uh, both Origins and Odyssey for the new consoles. And, oh, now, yeah. and now Far Cry I, I 5. I think that's better than remastering games, to be honest. Yeah, probably. Is that not Stun His Ass? All right, I'm about to go. You have his attention over there. Yeah, I do. I thought that would have stunned him. It didn't. Here we go. You know, I killed I, his pav daddy. I mean, you could, maybe you could say Red Dead 2 is the best open world from that generation. Oh my god, don't get me started on Red Dead. I, I mean, it's a great game, don't get me wrong. But if you ain't got like five hours, you know, out of your day to just have a go of it, <laughs> you can forget it. Like, right. I hate the way games have no respect for your free time. It's like, yeah, we're going to have these really long drawn out character animations that you can't skip. We're going to have these really long between mission sections where you've got to listen to the guy on the horse. And if you get too far away from him, he stops talking and then you miss out on the story. And then you've got to listen, talk to someone that's like five miles away on the map again. And it's right. like, all you ever do is fly around on your stupid horse, have long animations that you can't skip. And like, there's nothing in the open world. I mean, there's some interesting, you know, encounters with people, but it's just, it's just trees. Like this, this is a problem I had with Halo Infinite. It's just Beep. trees. They go, oh yeah, we've got this open world, but there's nothing in it. Yeah, like, the open world of Infinite sucks in my opinion. I mean, it's, it's Far Cry Halo, but you know, Far Cry does it better. Yeah, it, it, it's literally a Far Cry from Far Cry. <laughs>
I mean, I'm not kidding you when I say this. Like, Far Cry does the open world better than Halo Infinite does. I mean, it's it's kind of pathetic. I mean, it kind of kind of goes without saying as well, doesn't it? Oh, what what's that? An open world series is better than an open world that isn't open world. You know, right. generally speaking, from the Halo universe. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you have a point. Where's this uh, what are these guys going? doing? These we've we've had so many cringe men against us in these games. <laughs> I'm gonna take out his base. I have enough to go tech three. I'm just waiting for the. Uh, oh, you're Vari. I'm. I, yeah. <laughs> I, ha I, can I can do tech I'll three. Take, I just gotta wait I'll for. Uh... Okay, I've men there anyway. There we go. I'm T3. Steal his egg. <laughs> Auto pump T3. This is how you Auto play Vori, in my opinion. Oh, yeah. absolutely. No messing about. I mean, this I dude. I think is... you've sent him to Plim. Oh, yeah. No, no if, if ands or buts. I'm not even gonna go Mastodons this time. He thinks building a shield. Oh, shite. He might actually get that shield Jenny off. Yeah, he might do. Can I? I can't get like mines next to it, can I? Yeah. Oh, I mean, you can just make money from it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, if you want to keep your base alive longer, we can we can make plenty of dosh from it. Don't you worry. Plenty of dosh coins. Well, I'm attacking three bases at the moment. <laughs> Winning on all three fronts, I should say. Oh uh, that's goodness. a little bit of an exaggeration. Well, this guy's wasted. Um, I'm, I'm going to put a siege base there to take out this man. Okay. <laughs> oh, you really did do a number on this character. <laughs> yeah. He's, uh... It's not often you get numbers like that in this game that we play called Halo Wars 2. Right. Well, uh, I can. Uh, I think I'll just build a scarab because I can afford it. Oh my god, a seven minute scarab. With, That's with, with uh, only one upgraded supply pad. <laughs> <laughs> How many gens have you got? Oh, you've got two gens. I got two gens. And you I have probably done that on one gen. Do you know, I we did a game where I played Borodus and I destroyed all of my pads and did a full gen base. <laughs> oh my god, he's letting me make more money, Ed. I mean, this is, this is Combat Spoils 1, by the way. If you charge at that Chosen, I can uh, do an Enduring Salvo on you. Oh, okay. Have you got a Have you got a grand drop? To stun I do. Him? I do. Stun his ass. Get that mind drop on him as well. Is he just gonna stand there? Oh my god. Oh. Oh. That, that's mine. That's mine. I would inspire you. Oh, it works on me as well. Yeah, yeah. We are well, I'm gonna get this base. I can Very actually, nice. I can actually almost pump two scarabs. I might just let you do that. <laughs> <laughs> Here, let me uh, sack this. I'll build Remember, another warp. Let me get two watchtowers on that. I don't. I don't need. Oh, actually, I was gonna build siege. Let me build some siege. Leader point earned. Um. Local well, I got. Ooh, I'm. I'm gonna upgrade the enduring salvo. Got a gen on a mini. Bloody hell! Are these through. are these the same men? Because they're making uh... the same mistakes. I don't think it is the same men. They're similar leaders, but I don't think it is the same men. I mean, I, I could be wrong. I've been known to mix up men in the past. Well, whoops, I didn't mean to do that. Um, What's going on over there? What's happening? <laughs> I mean, there is some cringe air. I mean, that was absolutely brimful, I have to I have to admit. I am brimmed. I am... Do, do four watchtowers do more than three? Or yes. is three the cutoff? No, I think, I think you can do four. Okay. Well, I'm not going to have a siege. I'm going to see if one siege turret. Um, I think uh, you three get... Three watchtowers is enough to see the base. I think you get diminishing returns. Oh, yeah. Without a shitty doubt. Shitty Sherman doubt. Without a shadow of a shitty Sherman doubt. All right. I'm making my scab... Bra dab bra. Oh, look at this. He thinks he's going to send Scouty McScouts over. He's sorely mistaken. Oh, I need one unit to die to make my next uh, scarab. Leader power ready. Triangulating targets, sir. <laughs> Bright, uh, grunt. Whatever. Forget it. Just forget it. <laughs> Sometimes I'll get like halfway through saying something and realize I've got no idea who I am, where I come from, or what I'm trying to say. <laughs> See, you just say forget it. Yeah, just, you know what? Forget that. Forget I said. Oh. <laughs> Are you kidding? <laughs> All right, one scarab down. 
one more is training. There you go. That's a you ten. double bump scarabs. That is a lot of banshees, actually. Well, I I didn't have the pop. I had to research a pop upgrade. I forgot. Oh, that is cringe. That's okay. Um, cringe topia, my guy. So, just for context, I took out three bases and built two scarabs and hit tech three in ten minutes with. And this, this is how. Two harvesters and two gens. <laughs> That is incredible. If Vortis, this, that's why Vortis is broken, ladies and gents. Oh, yeah. All right, I'm no coming. No fans but I'm coming to end this man. Oh, he's got a shield up. Oh, he's healing his... <sighs> I will kill this man with siege if it's the last thing I do. With, uh, <laughs> with some siege. I'm coming with my, you know. Scabba dabba ding dong. Na 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 na. Should I destroy a siege turret and go for four watchtowers? <laughs> and kill them with Kodiaks? Oh, yeah. yeah. I mean, why not? Yeah. I mean, if you wait... Seems, seems like a prosperous... You know what um, you should do? Is do that, and then next point, I'll Cataclysm his base from here. Oh, wonderful. Well, I, I can't... You know what? Yeah. <laughs> You're hitting him with Kodiaks. Hitting with three Kodiaks. Yep. I love it. Oh, he's cloaked his... Now, I actually don't. Let me, let me, uh, let me see. This uh, watchtower is almost built. Let's see if I get more vision. Okay. Oh, you do. Yeah, you get quite a. You know, you get a slither more. Right. I can probably see his base as well if it wasn't Cloakenstein. <laughs> let me make some. Well, Ingies have detect. That's fine. Yeah. I'm gonna. Uh, I'm gonna move my siege a little bit. Okay. Feel like it's a little bit. Kodiak systems all checked and ready. One Kodiak there. There we go. We'll go with one there. <laughs> and we'll go with one there. <laughs> and one there. You know, it is mean, but it, you know, it had to be said. What did you say? I said cringe, cringe air. air. You're not even going to try anything else. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, these are the kind of men that won't try anything else. And you can bet your bottom shite dollar on it, Andrew. Well, I mean, there's, there's characters out there for whatever reason. They think air is OP. Yeah, and we're here to prove you. Well, it is it be until known, it is. And gents, it is shite. <laughs> I'm gonna send in the uh, nightingales. Yeah, yeah, gales. My gales, Andrew. Okay. Uh oh. Fly away. <laughs> well. I mean, going back to our old conversation. I mean, what do, is there really a better open world game? I mean, the comments will probably tell us. I don't know if Witcher counts. I can't think of one, I'll be honest. I genuinely can't think of a really good one. All right, I'm going to Cataclysm. This one. <laughs> uh, uh, and then he's, he's going to be... Oh. That's me, Brim. And here come the Tings. I killed oh, this pavio. Oh, my Kodiaks are pooing on him. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> Has his pavio been wasted yet? Oh, yeah, he died at the Cataclysm. <laughs> he stood there. <laughs> oh, here's his uh, anti-air. Hmm. No, um, I've got Moo Moo's to deal with that. Don't you worry. You have Moo Moo, Mr. Cow. Come down here and fight Moo -moo. Some mines there for a bit of inspiration. <laughs> I'm gonna walk underneath him with my moose. Uh oh, back go, up boys. the NGs. Here we go, boys and girls, ladies and gents. I apologize it's if these shame men I don't are have a walking. Spartan. I'd, I'd have one of those uh, blister backs. I'm moving in my siege. I'm moving in all the kids. All the men. <laughs> Too scared. It's a why do, why do I get the garrison uh, symbol on my marines for your scarabs? What's that all about? Oh, interesting. Oh, he quit. Strange. He quit as I Oh, shot. we didn't even get to siege the man to death. Mm. Bloody hell. Well, crap. My day is ruined. Right. Immeasurably. Was ours, as it should be. Well, well, let's take a look here. That's why you don't build gens on your minis, ladies. Oh, I lost one marine, probably. <laughs> <laughs> well... There you have it. The stats may show that he was the better man, but this video proves otherwise.
Yep, I didn't contribute to that 27 units killed almost at all. So, you know, I, in fact, I'm willing to say that the Sentinels killed my one Marine. <laughs> right, right. That's well, how bad these guys were. Uh, well, there's shirts in our merch store, so check that out. And uh, mm -hmm. playlist for more. I'll see you.